So today I had to take my car in for car repairs. And after I was done, what I did, because I had to pay out a bundle of money out of my pocketbook, that was depressing. So what I did, I went to Goodwill. I found a huge bag of lace. Now, while I like this, I want to experiment with this. I also found this fall leaf stamp by Hero Arts. I think it's about a $5.99 stamp. $6.49, $6.50. I got it for $0.99. Cents, but it's a fall leaf. Look at my drop paper. I really have some fall colors here. I have white space here in the center where I've been working. I am going to do some stamping with craft paint colors and then I'm going to come in and work with my fine line paint applicator in black over that and do a huge drop paper fall leaf design. What I want to do with this lace is experiment with it. Let's come in a little closer. I must be in an experimenting mood this week because what I want to do is experiment. This is Probably cotton thread, I would think. It's cotton, and it's, I would guess that it's made by machine. It's like a crochet knit type lace. And while it's pretty, I want to experiment with doing some ink tints over it, just to variegate it, to see what I can do to distress it, and see what happens with ink tints on this cotton lace. So I'm going to go into fast forward and work with that. And then I'm going to work with doing some stamps with this fall leaf on my drop paper and play with my fine line paint applicator. When I'm all finished, I'll come back and show you the results.
my desktop as it is right now. I'm going to leave it like this. It, the paint is very, very wet. It's all craft paint. Everything on here is craft paint. It'll dry fast, but since it's such a large area, I want it to dry thoroughly. I have some really thick branches and trees of paint that I did with my fine line paint applicator. Now I want to come back over this with more layers of leaves, but not right now or I'll smear everything. I do want to show you this again without dripping it in the paint. This is the lace that I colored with the ink tints. I'm really happy with the fall colors here. I thinking of a page that will go with this. And this is the right side and it has very vibrant ink tints colors. When you turn it over, you get these more muted colors. But still that ink tints is vibrant even on the back side. I did nothing to the back side here. This is all what soaked through. I like both sides. This is the front side again. So how fun this has been. Just really, really, really fun. I can't wait to finish this. Thank you for watching. And I will see you on the next page.